More first responders under investigation for reportedly showing off and sharing graphic photos from the Kobe Bryant helicopter crash scene. And tonight we've learned it wasn't just sheriff's deputies. Firefighters allegedly did it too. CBS 2's Rachel Kim is live in downtown LA with details. Rachel. Well, Pat and Jeff, it started with allegations against deputies at the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. Now there are reports that members of the L.A. County Fire Department are also involved. Investigations are underway to find out if these allegations are true and exactly who was involved. This is horrible. A source familiar with the matter confirms to us that graphic photos of the crash site where Kobe Bryant and eight others were killed are circulating among deputies at the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. Our source has not seen the images, but says they are trying to track down the origin of the photos. TMZ reports the deputies who responded to the crash scene took the photos that include remains. They say one of them was a trainee deputy who a few days later went to a bar to impress a girl by showing her the photos. TMZ says a bartender overheard the conversation and filed an online complaint with the sheriff's department. We know that the NTSB is investigating this matter and we know uh, that there would be no reason for a deputy or a law enforcement officer at, at that time to take photos. Uh, of the crash scene. Scott Defoe is a retired LAPD sergeant and a use of force police procedures expert. He says if the allegations are true, it's more than a violation of the badge, the oath of office, and public trust. You can't go to a homicide scene or a crime scene and then take photos of people and, and distribute those photos. It'd have to be for evidentiary purposes only. You can't do that. Uh, because it, there is criminal liability there and obviously civil liability. The sheriff's department released a statement on Facebook saying in part, the sheriff is deeply disturbed at the thought deputies could allegedly engage in such an insensitive act. A thorough investigation will be conducted by the department with the number one priority of protecting the dignity and privacy of the victims and their families. The L.A. County Fire Department adds that at this point, they don't have a confirmed or specific allegation of misconduct, but they do promise a thorough investigation and swift action if necessary. Reporting live in downtown L.A., Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News. Rachel, thank you.